Galatians chapter 2. Then, after fourteen years, I went up again to Jerusalem with Barnabas, taking Titus along with me. I went up by revelation, and I laid before them, but privately, before those who were of repute, the gospel which I preach amongst the Gentiles, lest somehow I should be running or had run in vain. But even Titus, who was with me, was not compelled to be circumcised, though he was a Greek, but because of false brethren, secretly brought in, who slipped in to spy out our freedom, which we have in Jesus Christ, that they might bring us into bondage. To them we did not yield submission even for a moment, that the truth of the gospel might be preserved for you. And from those who were reputed to be something, what they were makes no difference to me, God shows no partiality, those, I say, who were of repute added nothing to me. But on the contrary, when they saw that I had been entrusted with the gospel to the uncircumcised, just as Peter had been entrusted with the gospel to the circumcised, for he worked through Peter for the mission to the circumcised, and worked through me also for the Gentiles. And when they perceived the grace that was given to me, James and Cephas and John, who were reputed to be pillars, gave to me and Barnabas the right hand of fellowship, that we should go to the Gentiles and they to the circumcised. Only they would have us remember the poor, which very thing I was eager to do. But when Cephas came to Antioch, I opposed him to his face, because he stood condemned. For before certain men came from James, he ate with the Gentiles. But when they came, he drew back and separated himself, fearing the circumcision party. And with him the rest of the Jews acted insincerely, so that even Barnabas was carried away by their insincerity. But when I saw that they were not straightforward about the truth of the gospel, I said to Cephas before them all, if you, though a Jew, live like a Gentile and not like a Jew, how can you compel the Gentiles to live like a Jew? We ourselves who are Jews by birth and not Gentile sinners, yet who know that a man is not justified by works of the law, but through faith in Jesus Christ, even we who have believed in Jesus Christ in order to be justified by faith in Jesus Christ and not by works of the law, because by works of the law no one is justified. But if in our endeavor to be justified in Christ we ourselves were found to be sinners, is Christ then an agent of sin? Certainly not. But if I build up again those things which I tore down and prove myself a transgressor, for I, through the law, died to the law, that I might live to God. I have been crucified with Christ, it is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. I do not nullify the grace of God, for it is, for if justification were through the law, then Christ died to no purpose.